There we go. Hey there, Bonashir Valley. Welcome back. We've been uh, monitoring the ongoing situation and hope to answer some of your questions. Hi, Annette. Hi. Uh, so glad to be back. It's been a busy, a busy couple of weeks, and it'll be a busy couple of months, just like the entire 2020 year. Um, so our quote for today is Michelle Obama says, focus more on learning than on succeeding. Instead of pretending that you understand something when you don't, raise your hand and ask a question. So are you ready for some questions, Mayor Murphy? I am absolutely ready for some questions, thanks. Okay, so with the recent heat wave, when will our beaches be open? Well, unfortunately, currently under the provincial emergency order, uh, public and private beaches are closed. Um, but uh, we will certainly monitor the situation very closely so that uh, as soon as we can open up a beach, we will. Great. And what about churches? So the province has granted permission for churches to do drive-by services. Uh, if your church has a large enough parking lot and everyone stays in their cars two feet apart, uh, if you have a way of doing it by Zoom or with uh, an audio video system, I think that's better. Uh, I, I happen to know that St. Mike's Cathedral, um, Cardinal uh, Tom Collins is, is actually doing uh, video uh, masses from, from, uh, from the cathedral in Toronto. Uh, and the Pembroke uh, Drive-In is hosting some church services as well right here in Renfrew County. Okay. And now, do I need bag tags or waste site cards yet? Not yet. <laughs> Uh, the snow dryer site will uh, start charging for commercial and construction loads uh, on Monday, that's June the 1st, uh, but no bag tags, waste cards, or tipping fees will be charged at the other sites until July the 1st. Um, the other question that I've been asked over and over again is, uh, when will our household hazardous wastes uh, uh, depot be open? Um, unfortunately, it's, normally it's open on the May 2-4 weekend uh, into Thanksgiving. Uh, but uh, that, that uh, depot will be open on July the 1st uh, at the Sand Roadway site. Okay. And can I come into the office, the township office, to purchase my bag tags or to pay my taxes? Okay, so the municipal office is scheduled to reopen on June the 8th. However, only two people will be allowed in at a time with two people in line outside of the office and the fifth person or sixth person uh, must uh, wait in their vehicles. Uh, there will only be one entrance and one exit door to ensure physical distancing. So you'll come in the side door and you'll go out the back door. The back door will be locked, so uh, don't, don't try that. Um, we have plexiglass up uh, and masks and gloves and sanitizer for all staff when required. Um, but marriage licenses commissioning Building and planning applications will be by appointment only, so please call ahead if you, if you need any of these services. Um, those particular services uh, need more staff time, uh, and we want people, if they're paying their taxes or what have you, we want you in and out as, as quickly as possible. Um, we're gonna try this for the, for the uh, foreseeable future, um, and uh, again, we'll monitor the situation. Okay. Um, well, thanks for your time today. Uh, I know uh, people uh, were sort of calling and asking where, where we were, so, uh, so here we are. They were. <laughs> they missed us last Friday, Annette. They, so, they missed it. Yeah. So, yeah, so a shout out to all those people that actually watch this. You know, I think uh, we, were, we were talking about it the other day that, uh, you know, these Zoom meetings and, and Zoom information sessions, uh, are really getting some traction. I know that uh, apparently 88 people watched our county, our seven hour county council meeting on, on uh, Wednesday. So that's kind of encouraging. So it's nice to know people are engaged. Yeah, for sure. And any of you watching, uh, I would ask you if you have your own questions, if you want to email us uh, to admin, admin at eganville.com. So again, admin at eganville.com and we'll certainly, uh, certainly pass them on. So I just, um, it, this week was paramedic service week. Uh, the warden actually uh, proclaimed it paramedic service week here in Renfrew County. I wanna give a special shout out to our, 
our paramedic heroes, uh, always on the front lines. Uh, the work that they're doing is exemplary. It's been uh, noted, uh, in fact, by Teresa Tam at the federal level. Uh, so uh, congratulations to all of them. Uh, and as we head into June, I can't help thinking about our graduating classes and their inability to have ceremonies to celebrate all of their hard work and achievements. Uh, I've spoken to many parents who, whose kids are, are re they're really sad that they couldn't have a, a graduation. So to all of our 2020 graduates, I would say that you are this week's BV heroes. Go forth into this unpredictable world in these unique times and be bold, be courageous, be your best. And in this moment, you are making history as we look to you to secure our future. I wish you all the greatest success in your endeavors, whatever they should be. And remember, stay home, stay safe, and stay Bonashir Valley strong. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Bye.